Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And this is a topic that we've actually revisited once or twice. And now we're here again. Should you buy a gaming laptop or should you buy a gaming desktop in 2022? Earlier this year, we did a video where we physically compared a gaming laptop to a gaming desktop back when prices were a little bit suspicious. But now that prices are going down, is a gaming PC worth it again over a gaming laptop, which you could get for a great price? Well, we're about to discuss that. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at AliExpress and their back to school sale where you can save up to 70% off their awesome products. Today we are showcasing the Keychron K4 V2 mechanical keyboard with a 96% layout and RGB backlighting, hot swap switch support and wireless connectivity with the ability to connect and swap between three devices at once, all while being super well built and have a very clean minimal design for your desk setup. Now, if you're on a budget and want to upgrade your audio game, then consider picking up the One Audio Wired headphones with solid 50 millimeter audio drivers that are designed for studio use. It comes with different audio jacks to support a wide range of different devices, and is also very compact and easy to travel with, all while delivering clean, punchy audio that performs above its price tag. To learn more about these awesome products and other back to school sales that AliExpress is currently running, check the link down below. And special thanks again to our friends at AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. So on our laptop here, we actually have a laptop picked out. So we have an Acer Nitro 5 11800H with an RTX 3050 Ti, 16 gigs of DDR4, and it's a 17 inch 144 hertz screen, one terabyte NVMe SSD for 1095. Now, of course, we had to take that laptop and build a full setup because as Jackson mentioned, the screen, the keyboard, the speakers, all of that is important in terms of getting a gaming PC because you can't just get a tower and then be like, game on it, let's go. <laughs> I mean, in theory, you can use like your TV and stuff, but just for fair comparison, we built a setup. We went with the following parts. First up, an i5-12400F. Went i5 because it's somewhat comparable. It's definitely gonna be a better CPU overall compared to the laptop, but it is an i5, so we went that route. Uh, a Gigabyte B660M motherboard, DS3H. 16 gigs of RGB RAM, we went with Team Group RAM for this one. Uh, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, a Sapphire RX 6600, which was the problem with the previous comparison. GPU prices were very expensive, but nowadays this GPU can be had for $279, more on that later. The power supply, an EVGA 650GQ, and a Moravol mesh micro case. And the total of this build is $822, but when we factor in the setup part, you get a 144 hertz screen because that laptop has a 144 hertz screen. You're looking at about 160 bucks for an AOC model. And then you can get a Havoc keyboard and mouse combo, mechanical keyboard. Obviously you can get much fancier stuff, but I wanted to get something budget because really the keyboard on your laptop is not amazing anyways. So a budget keyboard and mouse seemed fair. That's about $40. Now I did put optional for the headset because well, technically you could just use computer speakers you have or headphones, but we'll go and factor in a $30 budget headset. And even then we are still below the price of of the laptop. We're looking at about $1,050 for the full setup versus the gaming laptop. And in terms of performance, that RX 6600 will definitely perform better. Now, just a heads up, we will be giving you guys some really, really good one-off banger deals. So make sure you check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out, but they will be one-off deals. So make sure you catch them while you can. So just to let you guys know the main difference between a laptop processor and GPU versus a desktop is a desktop GPU and process, you're getting what you pay for. When you get an i5-12400, six core, 12 thread, makes perfect sense. And same with the 6600. It's a really good car with eight gigs of VRAM. It can play 1440p titles. You could even dabble with some 4K and eSports titles, which obviously with the laptop, you're kind of stuck on the screen you have unless you want to use an external monitor. And now with the GPU, this thing has an RTX 3050 Ti. Laptop manufacturers are notoriously good at making the CPU and GPU sound a heck of a lot better than they are. For example, we could get a laptop that has a 12th gen i9 in it, and it might perform similar to our i5-12400 in the desktop. That's just what they've always done. Same with the graphics cards. They don't really do this much anymore. They used to have like mobile versions of cards and like max Q and stuff like that, where it'd be called a 2070 or 2080, but it performed like a 1660. It's just something kind of sneaky that they do. The 3050 Ti is actually worse than an RTX 3050 for a desktop. So once again, kind of playing with people's minds there a little bit, but nonetheless, it still is a really good laptop and it still will play AAA titles, pretty much max settings. Now you might be saying in the comments, $1,000 for that laptop. I've seen really good deals on 3050 Ti laptops and 
yes, we've done a lot of laptop videos. Definitely check out our laptop video playlist. We've seen a lot of gaming laptops. And we were just browsing on eBay today before we shot this video and saw a Dell G15 laptop with the same 3050 Ti, a Ryzen 7 5800H. Now it only had eight gigs of RAM and a five 12 gig SSD and only a 120 hertz screen, only 120 hertz, still pretty good. But that laptop was $700 and that's a full $300 cheaper than that Acer Nitro. Add some RAM and you'll be pretty much equal to that Acer Nitro. So you can find one-off deals like that. And if you're in the market for a gaming laptop, don't let this discussion stray you away from that. You know why you want a gaming laptop. It's good for portability and things like that. But the main reason we were recommending gaming laptops a ton this past year is because they delivered so much more value for money with GPU prices being so expensive. For some reason, laptops really didn't get affected. But now with GPU prices dropping, you don't have to sacrifice for a gaming laptop. You can most certainly build a full gaming setup and get what you're looking for for your money. And that kind of leads me to the discussion of just general laptop versus desktop. Now the prices are the same. A lot of people will ask us on stream, hey, should I get a gaming laptop or should I get a gaming desktop? And it's really a matter of what is your use case? Do you really travel a lot? And when you do travel, even if you do travel a lot, do you really game when you're traveling or do you just check emails and stuff like that? That might be where it's better to get something like a cheap MacBook or a cheap Chromebook, something just to check emails and stuff like that. Maybe something with a little bit of graphics card power where you can play those esports titles or AAA titles at lower settings, but then get yourself a nice desktop or at home because I will say, even a 17 inch screen that's high refresh rate on a laptop can never compare to a nice 27 inch monitor or even a 32 inch monitor. And you can add curvature and stuff like that. You can add like 240, 360 Hertz and yeah, you can do that with laptops where you're getting pretty extra if you're doing that. So yeah, that's pretty much our discussion on gaming laptop versus gaming desktop. It has definitely changed over the past year in terms of what you can get on the desktop side versus gaming laptops. Doesn't mean either one is a bad option though. We love our gaming laptops and we love gaming desktops. And if you wanna pick up any of our recommendations, check those links down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. And let us know what kind of build guides or laptop reviews you wanna see here on the channel because we always like to cater to whatever you all are looking for. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other YouTube channels and also or twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye now if after this video you have your mind made up that you want a desktop or a laptop or you're still having trouble picking feel free to reach out to pcbros.tech because we got you covered pcbros.tech is our pc selling business we sell awesome gaming laptops and gaming pcs and you can even get a custom built just for you and if you use code toastybros2 on checkout you can save two percent your next purchase see you guys later goodbye Peace out.